So this is a simple solar setup uh, that you can build for under 300 bucks. Uh, you can certainly expand upon this in a, a hundred different ways, but this will tell you how a solar system works uh, and kind of the nuts and bolts of it. Instantacres.com. We've got our, our awesome uh, diagram over here. So basically a solar system uh, breaks down to, to three separate systems within a system. Uh, the first one is power storage. So that's your battery. This is a 12 volt, this is a marine battery, uh, which is um, very similar to a car battery. It's got some differences we can talk about another time. Uh, so your power storage is your battery. Your power generation is your solar panel. That could also be a wind turbine. That could be a generator. In this case, for the solar system, it is a solar panel. That's a 25 watt solar panel. And then you've got your power distribution. Um, so your distribution leads into powering your lights, your TV, all that stuff. So on the most basic level, this is a solar system. If you're familiar with this, you know, there's a, if you're familiar with systems, you know there's a couple things missing and we'll get to that in a second. Um, so within these three components, we have a couple small issues. From going to the solar panel to the battery, we have an issue that if we, if we, if we connect, if we connect directly to the battery, uh, we're going to have times when the battery is overcharged and that can damage the battery. So what we have to add to our system, now let's see here, do this with a, a black marker, is we have to have a charge controller. And we'll just label that as controller. My left-handedness is killing me here. So what the charge controller does, okay, is it takes that, uh, that very unsteady supply of power from the solar panel and it converts it not only into a, a steady supply going to the battery, but it also stops charging the battery when the battery has a full charge. So the battery doesn't get overcharged. It also keeps uh, power from feeding back into the, the solar cell and, and wasting that. So that's your controller. Actually, we have one right here. And a charge controller is super simple. Uh, this. Uh, some of this stuff uh, came from Harbor Freight. This is part of the, the solar cell package from Harbor Freight. So all you do for your charge controller is you plug your solar panel directly into your charge controller, and then you've got the alligator leads, and those go to your battery. So actually what we've done just now is we've, we've created a very simple solar system. We have our solar panel running through the charge controller to the battery. So the battery, if we were outside, the battery would be storing a certain amount of power uh, from the solar power. So now we've got our, our uh, power storage. Now we have the issue of the power distribution. So the issue here is most of your power distribution is going to be AC, which is a standard household current, where our battery is giving off DC, which is a direct current. So you can you actually can have this direct link if you have DC, <coughs> excuse me, DC appliances. For example, here's a DC bulb. Uh, if this had alligator clips on it, we could plug it directly to the battery and flip it on and we'd be good to go. But for most of your uses, um, you're going to want AC power. So for that, we have to add a power inverter. And again, that's a really simple little deal. So let's go ahead and add that here. Okay. So we've got our inverter. See if I can spell it. There we go, there's our power inverter. And that's taking this DC power and that's converting that into AC power. And that's what's gonna run our, our sta any standard household appliance. So that's where you see these actual household plugs, that's in the inverter. So that completes our system, all we have to do now that we have the power coming in, the power's in the power storage area. Let's connect to that. We're gonna change this up just a little bit. And obviously if I were doing a complete system, I wouldn't be using necessarily alligator clamps. We'd be doing something a lot more permanent. So there's our inverter. We've got our normal plug-in. We can plug that right into the inverter. And you flip that on. And in just a second, we've got light. So that's these are standard uh, incandescent bulbs. The reason we have only eight of them lit up is this is a 400 watt inverter 
which means it can put out 400 watts worth of power. These are 50 watt bulbs. So all together with the four of those, we're at the, the max uh, for the power inverter. We, it, they'll actually go a little beyond temporarily. You don't want to do it permanently. So let's say we powered up these last two and it's, at, it's running over 500 watts. Um, it's got a little meter on it showing that it's 100% and then some. So that's not something you want to do long term. If we were to add, say, one more bulb, it would start to beep. If we added two more bulbs, it would start to beep really quickly. And then we know there's a big issue. So all that taken together, that's your simple solar system. Uh, under 300 bucks uh, for this exact kit. Um, this panel is part of a 100 watt solar kit that we happen to buy from Harbor Free. It includes the charge controller. It includes a couple LED bulbs, which by the way, uh, whoops, there we go. You can run these LED bulbs with the, with the battery kit. Like I mentioned, if you're running DC power, you don't need an inverter. And these are made to plug right in. So here you've got a, a very, very simple solar system uh, without the inverter running the AC power. So this kit from Harbor Freight, I believe was 160 bucks. This deep cycle battery was probably from Walmart. That was about 80 bucks. Um, and this inverter was from Walmart as well. 400 watt inverter was about 30 bucks, I believe. So we're under 200, under 300 bucks on that. Again, you can go so much deeper with solar, but this is a, a really, really nice system for maybe a hunting cabin, um, something for, for temporary usage, not necessarily somewhere you want to live, although you could expand on this very kit uh, and, and run a small cabin. Uh, so that's great. Simple solar system under 300 bucks. Uh, we'd love to hear your comments in the comment section. And uh, we hope to see you again with some other videos. Thanks for checking out the video. Be sure to subscribe. Keep watching all of our other videos. Check us out on social media along with YouTube. We have Facebook and Instagram. And be sure to check us out at instantacres.com.